every what is up everyone welcome back to my channel um i have been pretty laggy with the videos lately and i want to get back on track i have been super busy with a project with a client and that has been occupying so much of my time but i wanted to squeeze in a little time for this video so yeah i wanted to make today's video about helium 10 I wanted to talk about really two notable uh, tools on Helium 10, which is Cerebro and Magnet. Basically, these two tools are super helpful in regards to, you know, finding really high converting keywords, seeing which keywords have really high search volume and whatnot, and also seeing what keywords your competitors are using. So you can technically steal your competitors' keywords. So I'm so excited to go over this little tutorial with you guys and kind of just, you know, showing you how to really use the tools in a, you know, most uh, effective manner. So yeah, let's get started with this video. If you're interested in FBA content on a weekly basis, please subscribe to my channel and also give the video a like if, you know, this is something you enjoyed watching. So let's get started. All right, welcome back everyone. So um, as I told you guys before, we're going to be talking about the tools Cerebro and Magnet. And so for today's example that I'll be, you know, inputting within those two tools will be this product called Baby Rattle. So just a little disclaimer, do not sell a baby rattle. It's a very competitive category and there's lots of sellers who have thousands of reviews. Um, just wanted to put that little disclaimer out there. But anyways, so we'll be using this as our example today and I'm so sorry if I'm going to be talking funny throughout this video. I have my aligners in my bottom teeth and they really hurt and, are, and it's like going against my tongue, but... I'm going to try to speak as clearly as I can. <laughs> All right, so let's get started with this video. Um, let's start off with the magnet tool. So with magnet on Helium 10, it's basically finding related keywords um, for your main keyword. So as I typed into the search for baby rattle, I'm going to find get keywords. And then I'm going to break down each section. Um, this is a new search. So I'm going to break down each section, what each section means on Helium 10, because there's a bunch of sections on Helium 10. And we're just going to help break down what everything means, um, just to make this simple for you guys, especially for those who are new to Helium 10 or are going to get Helium 10. All right, cool. So all this information popped up, all this data popped up. That's awesome. So as you guys can see within this first section, we see that the search volume is about 19,000. So that's basically saying that this keyword baby rattle is being searched about 19,000 times a month. So that's really good demand. Um, I feel like anything above over 6,000 in search volume is a really good product. So obviously this product is very much in demand. There's 20,000 searches a month. So very much searched for and very much, um, you know, in demand. So we got that confirmed. All right, so CPR eight day giveaway. So what this means is the number here given is 328. So basically throughout an eight day period, um, you would have to give away 328 baby rattles to be ranked on the first page. So if you're thinking about doing giveaways for a product that you know you're launching or you know starting to sell and you like want to get ranked right away, giveaways are a good method to do that. And what is awesome about Helium 10 is that they can calculate how much you would need to give away of that particular product to get ranked to for the first page. So that's basically what it means right here, the eight day giveaways section. Match type, so this means organic, this means a uh, smart select, I believe, smart complete, and this means Amazon recommended. Um, I will break down those terms later on in a few seconds. All right, and then we have the magnet IQ score. So basically the magnet IQ score is the ratio between um, how competitive the product is, and then basically it's the ratio also between um, how high volume that search term is being searched for. So right now the magnet score is 9,744, that's okay. Obviously there's not too much competition, but um, those sellers within that category have thousands of reviews. So basically the higher the magnet IQ score is, that's ideal because it's basically saying that the competition is pretty low and that there's good demand for that particular keyword or product. All right, so now we are in the distribution section, total keywords, 10,384. So basically, Helium 10 picked up on 10,000 related keywords. Smart complete. So what basically what smart complete means, it's that it's those keywords that are long tail. So it's that analyzed keyword that we're looking at, and it's long tail version of that keyword. So what a long tail term keyword is, um, it's the main keyword within that phrase, but it just has more words in it. So an example of a long tail 
uh, keyword for baby rattle would be pink, small pink baby rattle. So it's more than three words, three or four words, and basically it's more specific and targeted. All right. Organic keywords, that basically means that um, Helium 10 pulls out 4,000 keywords that were ranked within the first 306 positions on Amazon. So basically, like, these were unpaid um, positions. They're organic. Amazon recommended. Basically, Amazon found um, 5,000 keywords that they are recommending to put in a paid campaign for this keyword baby rattle. So that's basically what that means. And then top products, that's basically saying, Helium 10 is basically saying that these are the top sellers for the keyword baby rattle. Word frequency, so basically from this list, as you guys can see, we have 10,000 keywords. 2,000 of them have the word toys. Um, 808 of those words from the list have the word month in it. And then basically, you guys get the point, 746 out of the 10,000 keywords have the word boy in it. So it really helps break down... Um, the word frequency. All right, cool. So when you're in magnet, you're going to be overwhelmed because you're going to get this huge list of keywords. So basically what you're going to do in order to really narrow down your keyword list is you're going to put in certain criteria for that keyword list. Basically, if you want to focus on the magnet IQ score, which I said like the higher the I magnet IQ number, the better that is. But I don't really, I don't really use that for criteria. I'd rather, I focus my criteria on search volume. So I feel like anything above 1,000 is good for me. Um, I know people are more specific. They put more like 10,000 or, um, I don't know. It just really depends on your personal preference. Um, but I feel like anything above 1,000 is good for me. So I need my minimum to at least be 1,000 in search volume. Word count, two is fine. One, um, don't do one. You're not going to get any products with one word count. Nothing's going to pop up. And competing products. So basically, if you're trying to find a product with, you know, a very, very low competition, then you want to put the max as maybe like 200 or 500. Or if you want to find something with medium competition, um, this is a really good way to also narrow down your keyword list, match type, organic, smart, complete, or Amazon recommended. So these are really helpful filters to really narrow down your keyword list. I tend to find that just putting in my search volume as minimum 1000 just really shortens my keyword list already. So for example, let me go ahead and do this already. See, there we go. So I broke down the keyword list to 654. We went from 10,000 to 654 keywords. Now I'm going to just organize this by search volume. But yeah, now we have the keywords from highest search volume to lowest search volume. And this is going to be super helpful to me to find, you know, related keywords to my main keyword, baby rattle. And if you guys, um, sometimes Helium 10 pulls out really random keywords that are not related to that keyword. Um, so for example, let's see if you can find an irrelevant keyword. Okay, fine. We found one. Skip hop. Um, if I don't want that within my list, I can simply just delete it from my list. So yeah, Helium 10 also gives you the option because sometimes it's just going to pull out really random keywords because the system thinks it's relevant, but it's not. But you can easily delete it off your list and then go from there. And then once you found like your related keywords, so let's say, let's say for example, I want all these keywords for my list and you know, I'm going to use that to optimize my listing. I can go ahead and export this to Frankenstein. Loads. <laughs> awesome. So I can go ahead and export this to Frank Knight and then I can maintain phrases and I can remove the duplicate keywords through this feature. So I checked remove duplicate, so it's got that. And then once it's in Frankenstein and everything's organized into this one big list, I can go ahead and export that to Scribbles. Sorry, my volume 10 is always lagging on me. Okay, cool. And so now I have this list of my keywords and I can go ahead and optimize my listing accordingly. So this is why Magnet is super helpful. It just helps you find related keywords to your product and then you can use those keywords um, within your listing or just find new products or, you know, discover new products through um, your main keyword. Um, what I like about uh, Magnet as well is that you know, if you're finding a bunch of irrelevant keywords, go through your word frequency list. So, for example, I see the word light 10 times. I would just want to exclude the phrase light. 
um, price. Um, yeah, like if you're seeing some irrelevant keywords from your list, then go ahead and just exclude those phrase and then it would like also just rectify your keyword list from there as well. But yeah, I would also, this is such a great way to find like if you're doing a PPC campaign and you want to find Amazon recommended keywords and you know, test those out, then obviously, sorry for the zoom in. <laughs> you would want to change the, um, the match type to Amazon recommended and then do the apply filter or press the apply button and then now you'll get a bunch of like Amazon choice recommended keywords that you can put into your PPC campaign whether that's like for an exact campaign um yeah for an exact campaign or something all right so I hope that really broke down the magnet section for you guys um let's go ahead and talk about Cerebro which is also one of my favorite tools and I would go I'm gonna go ahead and explain that to you guys all right guys so let's go into Cerebro so basically what Cerebro does this is such a great way to see like your top competitors see what keywords they're using and seeing what um what keywords they're being highly ranked for this is such a great way to just steal their keywords and also you know see um you know try to you know get up to their ranking all right, so an example of how we're going to do this, so, you know, our product is a baby rattle. I'm going to go into um, rattles and plush rings category. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to go into the baby category, baby rattle category and see which are the best sellers. Uh, I'm going to find the ones that, are, that were the most closely related to my main product, which was, you know, the black, just the black um, baby rattle. Um... And I'm gonna grab their ASINs. I'm gonna grab about three to five products. I would say at least minimum three. Um, but you know, go up to five if you can. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna find. Um, so this was their product that we wanted to, you know, sell, hypothetically sell. So I'm just gonna find um, baby rattles that are similar looking to this. So it doesn't have to be exact, but you know, just a basic baby rattle. Okay, I'm gonna use this one as my example, and then I'm gonna copy the ASIN, put that ASIN in here. Cool. And then let's go back to let's find one more. I'll guess this one. Okay, cool. These will be the competitors that we grab. I don't really find any other closely <laughs> similar looking related ones, but that's fine. So we use these two. And then I'm going to break down some of the sections for this Cerebro tool. My computer is lagging. As always. I think I just have too many things stored in my computer. Okay, yay, it popped up. Okay, perfect. So um, let me just break down each section for you guys. Um, yeah, so basically ASINs, it's basically just showing up the products that we had inputted and ASINs that we're looking at for our top competitors, the ones that we, you know, wanted to analyze. Total keywords that Helium 10 pulled up is 6,442. Sponsored keywords, zero. So basically our competitors are not running campaigns for any keywords. Um, organic keywords, 5,605 keywords that are ranked in the uh, top 306 positions. Amazon recommended 1,000 frequently bought together. So basically, um, people are often buying these products um, with these uh, rattles. So basically, once they buy when they buy this rattle, they're often buying these products that are showing up here with in regards to this rattle purchase. And then cool, we already talked about this. 2,000 of these words from the list have the word baby in it, and etc. Okay, cool. So. It's going to be a little overwhelming again because you're going to get a, a huge number of keywords that popped up. So we have 6,000 in our list right now. Obviously, I don't want to go through 6,000 keywords. That's too much. Um, so I'm going to make my search volume at least 1,000. I'm going to make my word count too, of course. And then since I only have two products here, um, I'm not going to put anything for this position rank. Oh, wait, no, I am going to put something. What am I talking about? I'm going to want to put my minimum to be 1 and then my max 20. The reason why, um, I'm going to explain this right now. So basically, position rank just means that what, um, for my competitors, um, I want the keywords that they're being ranked for within, um, 
number one, or um, as I want keywords that are being, they're being, you know, toply ranked for. So basically, I want keywords between one through 20 positions. Basically, a position on Amazon. Let me just show you guys. So for example, I searched a baby rattle up here in the search bar, and then all these listings popped up. This would be considered the first listing on Amazon. This would be considered the second listing on Amazon, third listing, fourth listing. Um, yeah, you would not take into consideration sponsored listings. Um, so these are organic listings, and I want the first 20 listings that these key, that they're being ranked for for certain keywords. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, what not so i want one through 20 or count to and watch how much it breaks down the keywords you can also put in stuff here um i don't really use this section too much it's not that necessary for me and let's press apply oh and sorry i forgot um we want to get we want to get organic keywords we don't want to see sponsored keywords we want to see organic unpaid keywords that these competitors are being ranked for because we want to steal those keywords and 18 keywords popped out so can you guys see how much we broke down that list from 6,000 to 18 keywords so these filters are so helpful in really breaking down the keyword list to find the most relevant most important keywords from your competitors and steal those keywords from our competitors so um this is already um organized from high volume to search volume so we can see that the most relevant keywords for our competitors that they're being ranked for is baby rattles zero baby rattles zero to six months um baby rattles rattles for baby zero to six months so that's a repeat baby rattles zero to three months Baby rattle six to twelve months. So basically, our competitors are using these type of keywords, and that's driving the most like sales, the most traffic for them, and that's why they're doing so well because they've incorporated these keywords um, into their listing, and it's just it's those in demand keywords. So I hope this tutorial was really helpful and like really broke down how to you know really um, find the most relevant um, highly searched for keywords. Um, there's one more feature that I want to talk about in this section, and it's this speech feature called Ranking Competitors. This would work better if we had about three to five competitors, since we only have two, I didn't use it. But basically, let's say I had five competitors within my search. I would want to put that the, the minimum of at least three competitors that are ranking for that particular, for a particular keyword. Because if all three of those competitors are, you know, doing well for that keyword, then obviously that keyword is super important. So this is a really helpful filter to, you know, find that one keyword that's that a competitor is, you know, all these competitors are doing super well and you would definitely want to incorporate that into your listing. So yeah, I hope this video was super helpful for you guys. Um, if you guys want more Helium 10 related videos, I'm more than happy to do them. Um, and if you're interested in getting Helium 10, please make sure to use my affiliate link. Um, to get a discount for your plan and yeah um yeah that's pretty much it on my end and i uh, like this video it was helpful and whatnot but yeah i'll see you guys in the next video and have a good one